What's up everybody, Dave here and welcome back to Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu Edition. And we are right outside the forest here and we are going to just go ahead and hop on in. This is where we left off and look at this. This looks amazing. Earlier I saw something shining there. Oh, right there. Oh, they're, are they aggressive? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, oh, it's huge. Oh, we got a huge Caterpie. Let's try and catch it. Choose a berry from your bag and use it. Ooh, okay. Ooh, he's hungry. Yeah, let's give him a raspberry. There we go. Use. Yes. All right, get ready and woochuck. Got him. Let's see if it sticks. Two. Three. Oh, he broke out. Oh, he is feisty. Okay. Well, let's try the strategy again. Another berry. Hopefully, we're not wasting these. And then we will go with the ball and boom. Got him. Excellent. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. That should stick this time. Got him. All right. So an excellent throw should yield more experience. And I think it's a better chance of actually catching them. So, yeah, we got a 3.6 multiplier. Not a ton of experience, but hey, we're getting some level ups on our Pokemon. And we now have a Caterpie, which is a good addition to the party because we can get C Caterpie to eventually, you know, become a Metapod and then a Butterfree. Which would be nice. Ooh, Pidgeolong Gust. All right. A new Pokedex entry. Yeah, there we go. Worm Pokemon. Yep. Oh, bug type. Okay, earlier when I said weed Pokemon, I was not reading the type. The type is what that green tag was up in the corner. Added to the party. All right. So we want to get through here. There are going to be some uh, battles and then there's some items we can get. So let's go ahead and get this. Pikachu, what are you doing off in the grass? Did you find something? All right. Nope. Oh, what just happened? Oh, you can Oh, it's a wild Pikachu. Oh, well, yes. Let's go ahead and catch this one. There we go. Oh, nope. Okay. Again. And yeah, that one was a little, I got to work on this throwing to get better excellence, but yes, and got him. All right. Well, our Pikachu has now a little friend. So that just really threw me off. I thought Pikachu ran over to like talk to one of those Pokemon. It's like, what are you doing, Pikachu? You're not supposed to be over there. Or is my, my current Pikachu, is she going to get upset? Cause there's now another one to be like, yay. Hey, you're cheating on me, but that one, but we'll eventually send that one off and away. And yeah, we want to just maybe scout out some of the items. I know there's items scattered around here. Here we go. Here's one. All right. Tiny mushroom. Okay. Ooh. Put it in our bag. And then, oh, and there are Pikachu everywhere. And then here we go. We actually have a battle. So we're going to go ahead and do the battle here. And yeah, we'll probably fight everyone here in the forest because we do need some experience. And ooh, we got a Weedle. Well, let's go, Pikachu. All right, let's go ahead and hit him with that Thundershock. And go, Thundershock. There we go. And then, ooh, Poison Sting. Don't poison him or her. All right, and then bam. We're one experience away from level eight. Wait, is that what that said? I thought it said that's how it was. I don't know. But anyway, that Pokemon is defeated. And there we go. Now it says 24 out of 25 again. I don't know what that's about. I thought it said that a second ago. Oh, anyway. All right. So they are defeated. Oh, here we go. We got a Kakuna. Go ahead and get this one. All right. And oh, and there we go. Excellent. Is it going to be enough? Because this whole non battling thing, I feel like I'm going to be burning through Pokeballs quite a bit because that's how Pokemon Let's Go was. There we go. Excellent. That was about as much as you could get get down on the uh, the modifier circle there. So, yep. And if some of you are confused what I'm talking about, if you have not played Pokemon Go, that circle that slowly shrinks and then starts over, the smaller the circle gets, the um, better chance you have at like catching the or it's sticking and then also getting experience boosts. So an excellent is when that circle is tiny 
and then you have a just an overall better chance at experience and catching. All right. Oh, what is that? Oh, Pokeball. There we go. Item. Five Pokeballs. Nice. Pretty sure in the original you would find like a Pokeball. I just saw something shiny. Oh, well. oh that's just like particles from the forest. We got. Oh, here we go. Another trainer battle. Yep. Checking out my Pikachu. There's one right next to you. You can catch it. Instead of like having all bug type Pokemon. Which. Oh, nope. They have a right attack. All right. That's one thing I think is is interesting is there's like the Pokemon trainers that like commit to one Pokemon or one style of Pokemon, which all the gym leaders are like that. And it's like, I don't understand why you would stick to just one. All right, there we go. We wiped that red head out in one hit, demolished it. There we go. We got some level ups in the party. And we do want to swap out the Pikachu that we have with something else. There we go. We also took their Pokeballs. So now when we when we defeat them, we're not just taking their money. We're also taking their Pokeballs, which is great. So, I mean, you know, whatever. If we're going to mug someone and rob them, let's just take everything they have. Can we also take some raspberries and like potions and stuff, you know, like for healing or medicine or whatever? All right, here we go. A Caterpie. Oh, this thing's going to get annihilated. Let's go, Pikachu. Yeah, get him. All right, here we go. We got Thundershock rocking. And blam. And that is an insta kill because everything here is just super weak. All right, there we go. Nine experience. Not a ton, but hey, it's the whole party gets some, which is kind of nice. Yep. Yep. Sorry, kid. I'm sure you spent your entire life savings on that, and I just completely robbed it from you. There we go. Three raspberries. That'll be helpful. All right. In the catching pocket. And then let's talk to this one. Hey. Surprise. Oh. They just... They weren't battling. They just don't ever get Pokemon. All right. Let's talk to this girl. Blam. Oh, wait. Did she say there was a Bulbasaur in the forest? Um, If there's a Bulbasaur, I want him. I want a Bulbasaur. Bulbasaur is one of my favorite Pokemon. Oh. Is that Nidoran? Nidoran. All right. This might be um not a one-shot kill. But we'll see. Oh, close. And, ooh, potentially paraly or paralyzed. But it's not always effective. Like, you know, it's random. Thundershock. There we go. I'm just going to be spamming that pretty much the whole time. I don't see any reason to use anything else. Oh, ton of experience there. That was like double the last one. Oh, last Brittany. We just robbed her now. <laughs> I'm going to lay off the robbing thing because I feel like I'm just driving that joke into the ground. All right, here we go. Oh, what was that? What was that? Oh, it's a Weedle. We don't have a Weedle. Let's get us a Weedle. All right. Oh, oh, he is. He is feisty. And nope. Oh, didn't mean to throw right then. There we go. Bam. Oh, great throw. OK, well, can't get them all. We'll get there, though. And there we go. So we now have Weedle, Kakuna. I mean, we're just one away from, you know, Beedrill. I do need to get rid of that Pikachu, though. I don't know if I can do that right now. I don't really have anything I want to swap it with just yet. If there is a Bulbasaur running around in here, I definitely want the Bulbasaur. And do I want to go this way? I don't know. Let's talk to the bug catcher. All right, here we go. Another one. Okay. And thrown out a Kakuna. Wow, this is going to be quite the battle. <laughs> I don't think that thing can really hurt me. Pretty sure it can't, but we'll find out. I mean, if it's actually trained up from a Weedle, it should actually have an attack or two. Let's see. Yep. Nope. Just Harden. That's going to be interesting. And so the thing pretty much um, doesn't really do anything other than protect itself. The same with, you know, like a Metapod. All right. Defeated and gone. Almost. We're so close to leveling. All right. Pidgey just leveled. 
I do like, though, that I'm getting Pokeballs from the battles, because... Oh, shoot, what did I run into? There are Pokemon everywhere. Just everywhere. Oh. Like, there's a slight delay on it, so it's like when you do it, then it throws. So that's where, when it looks like, when it starts to do its attack, I've already flung it, it's too late. There we go. Nice, nice throw. God, I wish it said that, like from Wii Bowling. Where it's like, nice spare. All right, there we go, another Caterpie. Yep, boom, level up, level nine Pikachu. This is going super quick. Double kick, yes, forget an old move. We want to get rid of Growl, because I never use Growl. Growl and Tail Whip are pretty much going to just go away as we learn moves. But boom. There we go, double kick. And right attack is hit level six. Learn quick attack, that's useful. All right. And Caterpie got sent away to the box. So that, that's the first one I've caught. Oh, we got a Metapod right here. Yes. I will gladly catch a Metapod. Because that's just... I mean, I was going to get one eventually by... um. Oh, how did that not hit an excellent? That must have just missed the circle on that one. But I would have got a Metapod anyway with the uh, Caterpie in my party. It would have eventually evolved. There we go. Oddish. And we got a... We're getting more experience from catching Pokemon. Maybe because it was a new Pokemon. I think that's why you get an, X an XP bonus on new ones. But I gained almost more experience from that than I did gym battling. All right. Slip past that Caterpie. The bug ones don't really have interest in you. They kind of ignore you, which is kind of nice. Oh, hello. There we go. Just got a potion. All right. In our medicine pocket. And then down back here. This is towards... I think where we were. Yeah, so we kind of went around. Yeah, because we want to go up. Yeah. No, we want to go down. My bad. I love how they make their original sounds, too. Those are the sounds they made uh, in the original Game Boy game, which is kind of neat. I think the only one that maybe doesn't make that sound is Pikachu, but I could be wrong. But... We'll find out. Well, eventually I'll swap Pikachu out for a different Pokemon. Ooh. Oh, God. This is a... It's poor Pidgey. It's about to get obliterated. Like, so hard. Like, it's weak against electricity. And then uh, the level... Super effective. Yep. Oh, that poor Pidgey. That was just... I just slaughtered that thing. It didn't even stand a chance. Don't look shocked, lady. Like, I don't know what to tell you. You chose poorly. But, anyhow. Oh, we're getting close. So, in the original game, this is the area you would want to keep going back and forth at. Because you could find a Pikachu here. But it was like a 10% chance of finding one. So, I used to just go... Well, in yellow, you started with Pikachu. In, in blue and red, I would just basically stick around this area. We'll go after that Pikachu. And I would literally spend, if it took hours, I would not leave this chunk of the woods until I had a Pikachu. Because he's so powerful in the beginning. Like, he's one of, there's very few electric Pokemon in the original series. And most of them you don't get till you get to the power plant. Which is a decent way into the game. So, like, for fighting Misty, uh, an electric Pokemon will just annihilate her as a gym leader. But, Yeah. I cannot wait. Oh, I already know what party I'm going to use, too. Like, there's certain Pokemon I am after, and I am going to be ecstatic when I get them. Oh, wow, we got a bunch of level ups there. There we go. That one Pikachu we don't even want is level 7. Uh, what do we got here? Yeah, we already have you. So, yeah, tucked away in the box, and we'll transfer you later. Oh, I didn't even notice this guy. I was going to try to run past him. So we already got all the basic Pokemon we want. We got a few. I, I mean, we got some I don't care about, but that's, you know, what it is. Oh, yeah, a Metapod. Good job, kid. You really understand what you're doing here. Using a Pokemon that literally cannot attack, and you're fighting people. Sounds about right. All right, Thundershock. Blam. 
I mean, oh, it actually knows an attack. Oh, wow. He must have raised that from a Caterpie. Okay, maybe the kid does know what he's doing. Wasn't expecting that. And Metapod has fainted. And then, yep. I like how they got those little bug catcher boxes, but the Pokemon that they're catching are literally bigger than that box. You're not putting no Weedle or Caterpie in that thing. Like, come on. All right, slip past that Weedle. And then we are off into town. Not gonna talk to those people. I could, but I don't wanna. Uh, yeah. All right. Yep, this little patch of grass. I used to do all kinds of training there. But now I don't know if we even need to. Oh, there we go. There's our rival. Please don't battle me. I'm not ready for a battle. Go up against the gym leader. He's seriously strong. Definitely gonna have to take him on. All right. Uh, oh, geez, Pikachu. You're ready for a good battle, too, huh? Who wouldn't be? All right, then. It'd make me want to cheer you guys on, too. So take these. See, our rival... I feel bad I named him dummy. Like he's so nice. Like he's not a bad he's not a bad guy at all. I just show up and wreck his fun. Uh, Alright, so we're gonna visit the Poke Center, heal up real quick, and then we're going to see about going to the gym. Uh yeah. There we go. Oh, oh, I love that. How it shows him on the screen like that. Yes. It's so good. And that started, they started doing that a while back in some of the games where they would display your Pokemon like that. But it's, oh, this is all so enjoyable. I need to stop just gushing over the game. But, I mean, ugh. for the longest time, no one thought that, you know, this would have, oh, Butterfree. It's Butterfree. All right, the gym leaders or the gym is literally right here. Let's go around and yeah, let's go ahead and explore it. I am going to save super quick just to be safe. All right, there we go. And boom. Let's check this out. Oh, look at this. This is awesome. Oh, they have grandstands. People can sit and watch. Oh, that is awesome. Oh, wow. All right, let's go ahead and try out uh, fighting against these um, grass or water types. So we do have Oddish. So I could level up Oddish. Wait, I wasn't reading what he was saying. Is he telling me to pick a Pokemon? Well, Oddish isn't nearly strong enough. Pokemon is exactly what I wanted to see. Um, head on in and okay, so they're saying you needed one. So let's go ahead and see about actually bumping Oddish up to the front. I might not be ready for this battle. I might have to go and grind out some training with Oddish, but we'll we'll try out one of the uh the minions here, the trainers. They're not really minions, but you know. So let's go ahead and give this a go. What level are you at? Geodude. But I don't think... Oh, that looks so good. I don't think Oddish even knows any grass type moves right now. So it doesn't even it doesn't even matter. Yeah, they're both level 7. I do know Absorb. Okay, that works. So let's just Absorb and Blam! Wow, that annihilates. Okay. Well... That there we go. Level on up. I have a feeling we're gonna need to uh put on a couple levels if we actually want to stand a chance. Learn to acid. Yes. Alright. And boom. Whooped her. Let's do the next one. And then we get to fight Brock. Alright. And what do you have to offer? Is it another Geodude? We'll find out. It's probably, yeah, Geo, dude. Like, I kind of remember what to expect, but at the same time, I don't want to be like, it's going to be this, and then I'm wrong. So, I'm because I'm pretty sure Brock has a Geo, dude, and an Onyx. So, yep, bam. That does so much damage. Like, does Rock type or just like butter when it comes to grass, grass moves? 
Like, oh, oh no, I got defeated. Well, I was, your guy at the front door told me what to use. So let's go ahead and uh, fight Brock. Brock! Ah, so you're here, I'm Brock. Peter City Gym Leader. You see him just looking and, okay, all right. And show me your best. All right, let's see what you got. Okay, what are we sending out a Geodude? What level is it going to be, though? That's what I'm worried about is the level. Because if it's like level 9 or something, I might not stand a chance. Level 11! Oh, no! Oh, I'm going to get destroyed. Okay, let's see how that does. Oh, my gosh. Seriously? It was that super effective? Wow. Well... We're level 9 ourselves now, so we close the gap a little. I know Onyx is even stronger, but Ratatat, level 7. Hey, there we go. And Pikachu grew to level 10. Nice. All right, here we go. There's Onyx. We're not switching Pokemon. And, oh, look at him. He's so, oh, he's huge. That is a big Pokemon. Level 12. Oh, he has faster speed. That's what I'm worried about, but... Oh, that was a critical hit that barely did anything. Oh my lord. There we go. Okay, like, it just sucked everything out of them. Wow, I did not think an Oddish would be that powerful against them. All right, Oddish is now level 10. He's now tied for my strongest Pokemon. Pidgey grew to level 9. Wow, learned a mirror move. There we go. Caterpie level 7. Pikachu, the other Pikachu level 8, the one we're going to get rid of, but man, you underestimate us. That's right. We just destroyed you. Oh, Caterpie is evolving already? Oh. For some reason I was thinking that happened later, but okay. All right, here we go. We're going to get our Metapods. This is our first evolution. Blam! And I'm not going to stop it because you can stop them from evolving, and I don't want to do that. Yeah, there we go, Metapod. Like I was saying, I didn't even have to catch the one that was out in the wild. Because I knew this was going to happen very soon. Oh, he learned Harden. Yay. Kind of, kind of not a move that's needed. Uh, there we go. As proof of your victory, take this official Pokemon League badge. A Boulder badge. Yeah. Oh, there we go. They just high-fived. <laughs> Got a Boulder badge from Brock. The Boulder Badge Pokemon up to level 20 from other trainers will listen to you without question. Oh, and wait, take this with you too. Got HM01 Headbutt from Brock. Or HM, why did I say HM? TM01. The HMs you gotta collect also, but there we go. So TMs are definitely confirmed in the game. I know rumors had it uh, that they weren't gonna be in the game. Why is it? Why is Pikachu waving a controller at me? I don't. I don't know. I, I don't know what some of that means. Um, play with Pikachu. Does Pikachu want me to play with him? There you go. Shaking uncontrollably. All right. Well, let's just give him a little patteroo. Patteroo. Her. Give her a patteroo. Yeah. You good girl. You best girl. All right. There you go. There you go. I'll feed you later. Uh, all right. So that's what that means. I. Oh, the green thing in the corner. Um, the other Joy-Con is on. And so it's a, making it say that like a player two can join at any time, which I don't really need. But hey there, newbie. Oh, who are you? Don't tell me. You've got to be Dave, right? Oh, it's Gary. Um. Wait, you got to be Dave, right? I am. That's amazing. Why would I say that's amazing? Um, oh, it's blue, which, um, or from my grandfather that the two new kids set out from. Okay. Are we going to fight blue? Are we going to encounter all the trainers? Or are we going to encounter red and green as well? Oh, we got five great balls. There we go. All right. Yes. Okay. Um, Yep, okay, well, 
That's uh, who became to be known as Gary. So our rival is not blue. It's not the same person that I thought it was. Uh, there's a Pokeball down there. I want to get that. Oh, a slow poke. Slow. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. Let's see if we can go get that Pokeball. It was behind here. Oh, uh, yep. Can we just work our way? Yep. Through the bushes. There we go. Got an X defense. Ooh, nice. All right. Put it in the battle pocket. It's uh, an item that will help in battles. Uh, all right. So we beat a gym leader. Do we need to heal our Pokemon? Uh, let's go ahead and take a look. Nope. They're all healed up. So it's like the, the battle with Brock never happened. And then we're able to move on to the next area, I guess. Um, this is the Museum of Science. Okay, yeah, so we don't need to go in there. We are heading off to the next route. And that is going to... Ooh, look at this guy. Big explorer. Oh, he's got Geodude. Oh, 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 we're getting close to going through caves. That's why. Um, let's see. Peter Center uh, stays lovely and cool since it lies at the base of the mountain. Uh-huh. Dude. Yep. Oh, those original sound effects. They like, oh, they hit you right in the uh, the nostalgia feels hard. There's that. Um. Oh, that's for getting up in there. Okay. But yeah. So we're going to head this way. There's like a kid that ready to battle us the second we step out. Nope. Oh, okay. Let's see what does this kid want? Oh wow, that's a Boulder badge. You got it from Brock, didn't you? Uh, when you get uh, when you get new gym badges, more items become available at the Pokemart. By the way, the Pokemart is the blue belt. I knew that. I was introduced to the Pokemart in the last town. Uh, all right. Well, guys, I think that's going to do it for this episode. Hope you're enjoying the adventure we're on, and I will see you in the next episode.